Yeah, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday. This is what I do when I'm uh, not working that much. We live in Tapiala and this little park is called Mini Tapiala because some of these buildings in the playground resemble actual buildings in Tapiala. Like this one. This one with the thing. I thought it's kinda cool. You thought it was cool too, didn't you? Where are you going now? You wanna go back? She has a mind of her own. One other thing too about wearing masks, I published in a video uh, yesterday, I put it out that uh, wearing masks is awesome. And uh, my friend Babo has commented very correctly that not with eyeglasses, and he's right. Because look what happens. This actually sucks. I just have to remember to wear contact lenses when I have to wear a mask. It actually works much better inside. Not nearly as much fog. If you're outside of Finland and haven't been following what's going on here, the COVID virus situation, as it stands now, we are at 14,071 cases uh, in total since the beginning of the infection period with 351 deaths. And uh, that's actually, it's pretty low, I would say considering the entire population of Finland is 5.5 million. But um, we have started to spike higher. Let's have a look at this. This is the spring and we had 200 cases per day. That was the peak. And we're just now peaked at 300 cases per day. So, um, yeah, second wave, definitely bigger. And that's why all the mask recommendations and precautions and uh, where I think we're on the verge of actually closing down social events and group gatherings altogether. Um, there's been a curfew put on um, nightlife. So clubs and bars have to stop serving by 10 and be closed by midnight, I think. I think that was the case. So yeah, we are we are tightening up as well, uh, as well as the rest of the world. But um, we're still in a really good place and I'm very happy about the situation here. And um, generally people are being very careful and very considerate of others and uh, trying to contain the spread. Mm, but um, yeah. And let's get rid of that. And in the meantime, I am, while Isabel is napping, I'm looking at vans. Ah, oh, yes, Ford Transits. Yeah. It's been a dream of mine ever since I've been a teenager to buy a van and to build like a mobile kind of workspace or workspace, office, camper, studio thing. And um, that might actually be a possibility soon. Yeah. My brother-in-law says that I'll be the man in the van. <laughs> And that should be my business slogan, <laughs> the man in the van. Yeah, it's not gonna be, but anyway, I'm super excited about the possibility uh, of doing that. 
it would be a fun project, that's for sure. But yeah, then the uh, the idea is is that um, when I go on shoots and things like that, I won't have to think about what to pack or any of that. It'll all just live in the van and uh, I'll drive it there. And if it's an overnighter, then I should be able to sleep in the van and cook in the van and eat there and work there, you know, all that good stuff. But let's see, I'll keep you posted. Ah, oh, exciting. Okay, that's all for today. These videos are getting very short and I apologize for that, but you know, it's the time. It's what's going on now. I have a busy life with a lot of family stuff and yeah, anyway, okay next time.